Disney can be pretty picky about who they let into their elite circle, but we think it's time these characters join the club. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 characters that should be official Disney princesses. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're including characters that may have become queens or those who have no connection to royalty whatsoever. We're leaving out characters that are on the verge of becoming official princesses, however, so you won't be seeing Moana, Elsa, or Anna on this list. Number 10. Giselle, Enchanted The opening of Enchanted begins like so many other Disney princess stories. It sees Giselle, a young woman dreaming of finding her happily ever after, meet Prince Edward of Andalasia, and the pair immediately fall in love. You're the fairest maid I've ever met. You were made to finish your duet. An evil queen sabotages their plans, however. And this is where things take a strange turn for Giselle. She finds herself in New York City's Times Square. While Giselle is as sweet and kind as Snow White and Cinderella, her transformation into live action has prevented her from becoming an official princess, as Disney would have to acquire lifelong likeness rights from actress Amy Adams. How do I know? Nevertheless, we think Disney should overlook this technicality to make way for one of their funniest and boldest heroines. Is this a habit of yours, falling off of stuff? Only when you're around to catch me. <laughs> Number 9. Elena. Elena of Avalor. I would never throw something out before trying to fix it first, so why should we throw out Taroka before trying to fix that problem? Hmm? Elena of Avalor not only has the look of your classic Disney princess, but she also has the qualities. She's devoted to her people and her family, often putting herself in harm's way to protect them and ensure their well-being. Get She's also an actual princess, unlike some of the other entries on this list. So why isn't she official yet? One reason is that she stars in a television show rather than a feature film, which is a qualification to be an official Disney princess. If Elena ever makes an appearance on the big screen, hopefully she'll be added to the official lineup in no time. Number 8. Penelope Von Schweetz, Wreck-It Ralph Franchise Preferring a black skirt and hooded sweatshirt over a ball gown, at first glance, Penelope Von Schweetz may not seem like the princess type. But as we know, looks can be deceiving. We don't find out until the end of this film that Penelope is actually the princess of the video game Sugar Rush. All hail the rightful ruler of Sugar Rush, Princess Penelope. Beneath her somewhat harsh exterior is a loving and loyal friend who's extremely compassionate. Her young age may be what's preventing her from joining the official ranks. But according to executive producer John Lasseter, she's only two years younger than Snow White. So that argument doesn't quite hold up in our books. The code may say I'm a princess, but I know who I really am, Ralph. I'm a racer with the greatest superpower ever. Number seven, Maid Marian, Robin Hood. Well, thank you, my thin-legged archer. <laughs> I wish you luck with all my heart. You don't necessarily have to be an actual princess to be an official princess, or have any connection to royalty whatsoever. As cliche as it may sound, it's what's inside that counts the most, which is why Maid Marian should be an official Disney princess. Okay, so she's not human, which is another qualification for Disney princesses. But beyond being literally a fox, she is kind and courageous, and is willing to stand up for what's right. I beg of you to spare his life. Please have mercy. My dear emotional lady, why should I? Because I love him, your highness. She's also extremely graceful, and seems to have all the usual mannerisms of a princess down to a T. Considering the film was released over 40 years ago, it's about time things were changed a little and she joined the official ranks. Number 6. Princess Elanwi, The Black Cauldron I I'm an assistant pig keeper. Oh, what a pity. I was so hoping for someone who could help me escape. The Black Cauldron came out between Disney's golden age of animation and their 90s renaissance. That might explain why Alonwi is often overlooked, along with the fact that the film didn't do so well at the box office. Still, considering her credentials, it doesn't seem right for Alonwi to suffer for things beyond her control. Ha! What does a girl know about swords anyway? Girl? Girl? If it weren't for this girl, you would still be in the Horned King's dungeon. Kidnapped by the Horned King, Alonwi possesses many qualities of a princess and then some. Strong-willed, feisty, and hungry for adventure, 
She also had many modern qualities that would carry over to future Disney projects. Number 5. Nala, The Lion King Besides, this is my kingdom. If I don't fight for it, who oh will? I will. It's gonna be dangerous. Danger? Ha! Huh. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> if we do the math, Mufasa was the rightful king of Pride Rock. Simba is Mufasa's son. Nala is betrothed to Simba. So that makes Nala a princess. Similar to Maid Marian, she's not actually a human, which has prevented her from joining the official ranks. But if being a Disney princess is about setting a good example for young girls everywhere, Nala fits the part perfectly. She takes it on her own to find Simba and convince him to return to save their pride, and even calls him out when he refuses. No, just disappointed. You know, you're starting to sound like my father. Good, at least one of us does. Without her influence, he never would have taken his place in the circle of life. Number 4. Esmeralda, the Hunchback of Notre Dame So there's ten of you and one of me. What's a poor girl to do? <gasps> Esmeralda is without a doubt the hero of Paris. Sure, she isn't technically royalty, but neither is Mulan. And she's an official princess. Esmeralda is one of the most heroic characters in The Hunchback of Notre Dame, saving Quasimodo and her people from Frollo's tyranny. You mistreat this poor boy the same way you mistreat my people. You speak of justice, yet you are cruel to those most in need of your help. Silence! Justice! She's confident, smart, determined, and perhaps most importantly, has a heart of gold. Plus, it's hard not to get the feels when she sings God Help the Outcasts. God help the outcasts Hungry from birth, show them the mercy they don't find on earth. It's time for her to be given the proper treatment she deserves and join the other official princesses. Number 3. Princess Leia, Star Wars Franchise George Lucas sold the Star Wars franchise to Disney back in 2012. As a result, all of the characters in Star Wars are now technically Disney characters. Therefore, it only makes sense for Leia, one of the greatest and most memorable princesses in all of film history, to join the official ranks. Somebody has to save our skins. Into the garbage, fly boy! She's not only royalty, however, but she's also a natural-born leader and has a connection to the Force. She is the perfect example to show to anyone who thinks princesses are lame. Although she's later known as General Leia, that's not going to stop people from signing petitions to make her an official Disney princess. May the force be with you. Number 2. Kida, Atlantis The Lost Empire With one of their first films of the 21st century, Disney wanted to try something a little different with their lead female character. Enter Kida. Ooh, I like her. The daughter of the King of Atlantis, Kida is an impressive warrior, rather than your classic damsel in distress. In fact, by the end of the film, she even becomes queen. Similar to Alonwi, however, her film underperformed at the box office, limiting her overall exposure. Still, she would make an excellent addition to the official Disney lineup. Seriously, we need some more warrior princesses. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. This is more than my thoughts ever thought it could be. For a moment, just a moment, lucky me. You'd better talk, my dear, for soon the tide will be in, and then it will be too late. Number 1. Megara, Hercules To get the technicalities out of the way first, Megara is actually a princess in the original Greek mythology, as she's the daughter of Creon, the king of Thebes. She also ends up marrying Hercules, who is the son of Zeus, essentially the king of the gods. So therefore, Meg is a princess in every sense of the word. I'll be alright. I'm a big tough girl. Tie my own sandals and everything. She also sacrifices herself to save Hercules' life near the end of the film. People always do crazy things when they're in love. Complete with her intelligence and witty remarks, Meg could certainly add some spice to the official princess lineup. And it's a bit surprising she isn't there already. I'm a damsel. I'm in distress. I can handle this. Have a nice day. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.